Today I'm going to record an engine swap on my 2005 Subaru Outback. The Subaru needs an engine swap because it consumed all the oil. And this, this particular engine had 285,000 kilometers on it um, before, before the engine died on it. Okay, I'm going to turn on the engine and let you hear what the spun bearing sounds like. I think you get the idea. Mero, the mechanic. We've uh, taken the air manifold off so far. And the battery. Looking for bolts? No, I'm looking for the, the cooling, The coolant uh, drain? Oh, no, it's here. These uh, engine coverings, these plastic coverings, and then you can drain it. This so is the drain, uh, the drain plug. Okay. For the radiator. And we need a pan here, right in the corner of the radiator. Okay. The bottom corner. Using Philips screw, like this. Yeah. So that's the radiator coolant <laughs> to uh, engine. Upper radiator holes. Upper radiator radiator holes. Next thing is the, uh, the uh, auxiliary fan. This one, yeah, yeah, these two fans in the front. Yeah. We can take the whole thing with the, with the radiator. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, some people, uh, if they want to chase the uh, radiator, the auxiliary fan, mm -hmm. uh, all they have to do is Unhook the wires. There's uh, two bolts uh, on top, and just uh, hook up in the bottom. Okay. You just insert it and yeah, then pull it up. Okay. But actually, we can just remove these two bolts and take the whole thing. Okay, that's yeah. probably easiest. Yeah, that's easiest. This is just uh, showing how to uh, remove the uh, the. Uh, Auxiliary fan. Just uh, this hose, uh, the lower hose, and it's good. See that uh, lower hose? That yeah. one. Just take yeah. it up and yeah. Then we'll lift it up. And you're good. Okay, taking out the uh, lower radiator hose. Auxiliary 
Okay, uh, we're gonna remove this uh, uh, power steering pump. Oh yeah? Yeah, because uh, when you buy an engine, like a second hand engine, they're not included. So, oh yeah? So, yeah, you have to uh, just unbolt it and put it on the side. Uh, air condition uh, compressor. Yeah. That too is not uh, included when you buy an engine. Mm. If you wanna, you know, you have to pay for. You have to be the for that. And also the alternator. That is uh, also not included. They will take it out. Yeah. If you leave it there, mm. you will be pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But since your engine is still, uh, your alternator is still good, yeah. so we'll just uh, use your own alternator. Yeah. So this is this is alternator? Yeah. And then what's, uh, what's this? This is, this is your uh, Compressor, air compressor. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Air condition. And power steering is pump is. Power steering is here. Okay. You see the lines. And it goes to the, okay. It goes to the reservoir. Yeah. Power steering. And this okay. hose is going to the um, steering rack. All right. Okay. How to uh, replace the uh, AC belt mm -hmm. on the Subaru uh, back 2005. Super hard back. First is this bracket, 10 mil, 10 mil bolt, and uh, this bracket. There's the uh, all you have to use is a 12 mil uh, socket. There you go, and this. There's the adjuster, a tensioner, right here. Just loosen it. And here. As you can see, now it's loose. That's for the AC. But first, you have to take it out the alternator belt. This is the uh, alternator belt. Now to uh, change it, change the alternator belt. You just have to loosen up this uh, bolt mm -hmm. and this uh, the adjuster, and there you go. Check for cracks and everything. And this is the AC belt. Say that again. Yeah, AC belt. Right there? Yep. This one.
us. Oh yeah, it's so deep. Oh so yeah. You can see there is a uh, close. like the uh, tiny cracks. Mm -hmm. That it just started then so deep. Yeah. Look at that. Hmm. Oh, I guess I'll have to replace. Yeah. And also check the uh, the bearing, the tension, the AC tensioner bearing. There it is. Okay, this. Mm -hmm. So when you do the check, you just wiggle it. Um, well, to check it, to have to uh, make sure you remove it. Two bolts holding it, and he has to check it. Okay, um, see here. Yeah. Yeah. If it is uh, not uh, not good, you can hear a uh, like a grinding uh, noise or um, sound of uh, kind of metal to metal. But this one, yeah, this one needs to change because it's uh, just a big moment. So, yeah. yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yep. Wow. Okay. So we're taking off the alternator to alternator. So we just we just wow. uh, we just did on did these clips, eh? Like a couple of these yeah. clips, and that's. And, and this one here, yeah. and that's it so far. That's it. And uh, when you're removing it, make sure you hold this uh, cable just to make sure it's not going to break. Because sometimes when they, you know, when they turn it, it breaks the uh, the board and the uh, the paper there. Mm. That's good. Clip the socket so tight. There. there you go. And then there's the bolt. It's just two bolts holding this. Uh, Alternator. So we're taking off the AC next? Yep. There's a. Uh, there's off. AC. So this one's just four bolts, eh? Yeah, actually, there's a. Uh, Six bolts, but you can take it out by uh, just the uh, the four bolts. Mm. This is the uh, the main arteries or the uh, main power supply. Tricky to disconnect. Yep. Just disconnect it and uh, yeah, the engine is free now. Yeah. Push it down. There. Nice. There. 
there's like uh, four sockets here. It seems to be really tricky to remove, eh? Yeah. If you don't know how to uh, do it, eh? Do it. You're gonna break it or, you know, some uh, some uh, wire will be pinched. And once you uh, started it, there's a engine light. And you don't know where to press it. So, power steering off to the side, right? Yep. And then the uh, AC unit, right? Yep. So we can move that off to the side too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then, Last thing is the uh, starter. Where's that? Here is the starter. Oh, yeah. It's uh, right in the back. Mm. There's two bolts all of this. It's uh, 14 mil. So what were you saying again, Mario? What were your first things? Yeah, first thing, uh, make sure the positive uh, cable is out. Okay, which one's that? Here's the positive cable. See this? Yeah, usually it's uh, this rubber should be red, but uh, yeah, it's black. But uh, should be good. But make sure, yeah, make sure you do it first because this one here, right? Yes, this this cable. That one. This cable, yeah. Okay. Goes to the battery. Inch, but uh, anyways, it's, it's easy here. It's kind of easy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's the solenoid switch. There. That's a solenoid, don't forget that. Okay. Oh, okay. Now, the, the bolts holding the starter. Okay. If you don't have the uh, like the special tool for this, for this uh, uh, clip or the fuel line. Okay. You can use the uh, plastic. Just cut. Not uh, hard plastic, but uh, like, like this. Oh. Put it down by the fuel line. Yep. And then insert it here. Yeah, so it'll be the hard plastic okay. angle. And then make sure it go in. Okay, and then pull. There you go. Just like that. Just like that. Or you can buy the tool. <laughs> well, there's a yeah, cheap. Uh, cheap way to do it. Tools like cheapest is five dollars. I think it's uh, yeah. just one use, single use. This is the wire here line? This is the, yeah, the wire here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she comes. One and then another, then the other, right? Yeah. All right, that's another one. All right, so what are we doing, Mario? The, uh, gonna get the, the bolts 
for the uh, torque converter. Yeah, but we have to uh, take off this air, or is this an air manifold? It's or? the uh, air. throttle body. Thru throttle body. Yeah. So you gotta take the throttle body off to get to the... To have an access to the... Uh, torque converter, right? Converter bolts. bolts. Yeah. And that disengages the what? The, the transmission and the uh, engine. Okay, so then you can lift the engine out without... Yeah. What, what, what the fluid's leaking out? Uh, no, no, it's not gonna leak. Uh, if you uh, if you do this, if you do this, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But if you don't, it's gonna flood with with the uh, AKF. That bolt right behind him. The hard reach, but you were looking, you were looking for it here, right? Right, like right yeah, here. Usually, it's uh, located here in the uh, behind the, the uh, starter. Starter. Mm. But uh, this one. <laughs> no, nope, not so yeah, much. But... Just another thing you gotta take off. Yeah, there you go. Damn, yeah. she's she looking pretty dirty, eh? There's the small window here. Oh. Where is that? Where the small are? rubber window to have an access with a torque converter bolt. Mm. Conveniently loca located right there, eh? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the, yeah. the engine right to get to access that bolt. Yeah, it will. Uh, every time you turn it, you have to turn it slowly. Now it's a 12 mil. 12 mil? Alright. Okay. Go down? Yeah. Down. Do you want me to lift this way up? Yeah, slowly.
start the recording. Good work, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it right there, that's the face. You just push it back in.